The Ombudsman report highlights the challenges of dealing with the unprecedented impact of the pandemic and the fundamental shift in the supplier-customer relationship through eGov. However, the question he asks is whether this has impacted the delivery of public services. Given the 59% increase in complaints against the GHA when compared to the previous year, a special report on the authority was compiled on the areas causing the most problems. But when the Ombudsman approached the GHA's acting medical director for answers to his queries, Ron Corum says he didn't receive a reply. If this is what is considered acceptable practice at the top of the organisation, he asks, then is this discourtesy also afforded generally to members of the public? The Ombudsman's report does acknowledge that the GHA was the most affected during the pandemic and that it had to strategically refocus its efforts on dealing with COVID-19. But crucially, he says, there does exist this master-servant culture and he says that the laissez-faire and complacent practices found here at the GHA must change to one of genuine respect. Dr Coram says he raised these matters directly and bluntly with the Director General and understands that a recruitment process is now underway to fill the PULS complement with properly qualified staff. Overall, a total of 369 complaints were received by the Ombudsman's Office during 2021. This equates to a 26% increase on the previous year, with the greatest number of complaints, nearly 30%, relating to delays in communications, non-replies and inaction by departments. 46 of the complaints related to private entities. But overall, housing had the most complaints with 35%, followed by the GHA at 14%, Social Security 12%, followed by the Civil Status and Registration Office at 10%. In total, 57 complaints were classified as being outside the Ombudsman's jurisdiction and 151 had not yet exhausted all avenues of redress. 24 were settled formally. There were 14 formal investigations conducted by the Ombudsman. Of these, nine were upheld or partly upheld, whilst three were not upheld and two were unable to be classified. A section of the report is dedicated to the Venice Principles, which is the benchmark for Ombudsmen across the globe. Now, locally, this has been adopted into legislation, but with some notable exceptions, such as the Chief Minister has the discretion to exclude materials from the annual report before it's laid down here in Parliament. Rom Corum questions why this should be the case when considering the best interests of transparency. He also asks why he should have to present the report to the Chief Minister rather than directly himself to the Speaker of Parliament. And he points out that the Ombudsman still does not have full discretionary powers to launch an investigation without a complaint already having been filed. Despite the 2019 parliamentary resolution to allow own motion investigations, the Ombudsman's Act has still not been updated to reflect this.